Blaise Pascal, a brilliant 17th-century mathematician, philosopher, and inventor, was only 12 when he began teaching himself geometry, drawn to the shapes and forms that made up the world. His father, initially hiding all mathematical texts to ensure his focus on languages, soon recognized his prodigious talent and allowed him to study Euclid's works. By the age of 16, Pascal had already crafted a significant treatise on conic sections, surprising the learned men of his time, including the great Descartes. But Pascal's journey was not merely one of intellectual conquests. It was also deeply personal and spiritual. After experiencing a profound mystical vision in his thirties, Pascal's focus shifted dramatically towards philosophy and theology. This shift led to the creation of his most influential work, The Pensées, a collection of thoughts on religion, ethics, and humanity that was published posthumously. One day, while working on his experiments on atmospheric pressure, Pascal felt particularly troubled by the superficiality of human achievements. He walked out into the vast gardens of his estate, pondering the transient nature of earthly pursuits. As he gazed up at the starry night, a sense of peace descended upon him. He realized that true wisdom lay in contemplating the infinite and directing one's heart towards the divine. This epiphany did not deter him from his scientific endeavors, but deepened his approach, integrating his faith with his work. Pascal continued to invent, among other things, the first mechanical calculator to help his father with tax calculations, proving that one's gifts could serve both practical needs and spiritual enlightenment. Pascal's story reminds us that the pursuit of knowledge and the search for meaning are not separate paths, but one journey. His life encourages us to look beyond our achievements and to find a deeper connection with the world and our place within it. His legacy teaches us that the truest form of inspiration often comes from bridging the divide between heart and mind.